about how cool it is to have your movie premiere at the PCL training. It's really, really cool. It's kind of where I was hoping it would happen. I wasn't sure, but this just feels so like seminally Hollywood. And I don't mean to break the news to you, but there's been some really great reviews that have come out about the Invisible Man. You're so excited to share this. That's cool to hear. I am excited. I'm excited to watch it myself. I haven't seen it in a while, so I'm excited to just see it on a big IMAX screen. I think it's the kind of way to do a film like this now um, with a message, with a bit more content behind it. There's so much out there and audiences are so smart, so you really have to have something that's not only scary and entertaining, but it's also intelligent. It really is. It's what I love the most. I know. I'm a little bit of a weirdo. <laughs> yeah. I would prefer that to being all dressed up and being at this premiere. <laughs> I'd prefer to be in the rain in a wetsuit. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. I mean, look, as an actor, one of the big things that you kind of grow up thinking about is, will I ever have a premiere at the Chinese theater? And you're like, oh, yeah, that's happening. I mean, this place is legendary. Plus, tag that on to the fact that we're coming off of the legendary legacy of Monster Mash films when it comes to The Invisible Man. It's kind of like serendipitous in a way. It's awesome. And some of the reviews that have been just been incredible. Yeah. I am, I am. So I, I don't read reviews, anything like that, but my mom and my sister do. They love them. Um, and they've just been telling me about all the comments that people have been saying, and I'm just having fun listening to them. I have read a few. Uh, people are having a good time with it. And that, that's kind of like the point of this film. Like, yes, it is a thriller. Yes, it is scary, but you also got to have fun with it. And people are really enjoying that aspect of it. So I'm really happy that we were able to bring that to them. And hopefully they just, you know, continue to carry that and spread it. Hopefully everybody who needs to see it sees it. But it's such a fun film. It's really well done, too. And I'm, I'm really happy with how people are, are giving us love. And I love how Lee kind of um, wrapped up some really modern things, like the ones yeah. not being believed in these domestic relationships and things like that. Can you talk about some of the modern ones? Smart man. Like smart, that? smart man. So I think the best part of our job is the um, efficacy of our potential to actually represent what's happening put it in a commercial entertaining package and give people entertainment at the same time give them a bit of a lesson right and with this when it comes to the idea of women's empowerment when it comes to the idea of women going through struggle not being believed having to fight for themselves having to figure out who they are through all the turmoil and still retain their own faith and their hope you know that is a big deal. It's something we deal with every single day. It's something a lot of women deal with in silence. And I'm glad that we get to, you know, put this on the screen in this way, especially through, you know, Elizabeth's eyes. She does a, such a fantastic job. It's good yeah. about working with her because you guys have amazing chemistry. Honestly. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Really great. That's because she's just cool. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Have you met her before? Yeah, yeah. She's just cool. You know, just. Regular, you know what I mean? Down to earth, simple, and when it comes to the work, we get to the work, and after that, we're talking about going to sushi, you know what I mean? Uh, but she she has no diva to none of that, just came to it ready to get busy, and she gave us all our equal respect, and that's kind of where it comes down to when you're on set, you need to be able to respect your people, and, and that's exactly what we had on set. I am! I am! I'm very excited. I can't wait for people to see it. And It's a film that is, yes, scary, but also a genre piece. And um, it's talking about stuff that is going on in the world right now, like gaslighting and toxic masculinity uh, and domestic violence. So I think it's things that we need to be talking about, so I'm proud to be a part of it. Interesting right. Okay. Yes, I mean, like I said, it is a genre piece, but we're talking about things that are impacting women today, and I feel like with Cecilia, we weren't, well, with The Invisible Man, we weren't trying to change it in any way, but reimagine it, and with that, we have Cecilia, who is a woman going through things, and she realizes that she is weak in the moment, but she is also very strong, and I feel like that's beautiful, and a lot of people will be able to relate to that. Yes, I mean, she's amazing. She's an incredible actress. We all know that. But she's an, a, a great person, and she has the best sense of humor. So it was uh, amazing to be able to do these scenes with her. And we're in distress, and, and, and we're scared. But also, when Lee would call cut, uh, we would all be going back to laughing and talking. And Lee is such a great director. And we knew that this movie would be in good hands because like this is his element so I'm glad to see it all come together. And you must be so excited to share this with your fans because the reviews have been 
Yes, I mean, I try not to look at reviews and try to not look at what people say because some people are just not nice. But I know that a lot of people like it and it's tracking very well. So I hope a lot of people go see it on February 28th and they love it. <laughs> so let's talk about your career here. Yeah. How excited are you? That's I know, fair. it's so great. I'm so excited to see it. Like, I'm excited to see it in like a big IMAX theater and... We've seen so many versions of the film, but but this is like the ultimate version. So yeah, so I'm I'm really excited. And I'm gonna break the news to you. There's yes. been a lot of reviews that have come out, and they are spectacular. Well, are you excited to share with all of your? Friends? I am. I just I think the movie is such an incredible movie, and I'm so proud to be a part of it. I think we all are. That's why we're so excited to be here. Like, it's uh it's a it's a really really clever movie, and so. About how clever it is, unexpected price, and all of these like very timely things. Mm, like, yeah. women are not being believed yeah. in these domestic relationships. Yeah. Touch, touch on that well, I think that that's where Lee's kind of uh, done something incredible with it by, by, by kind of centering the movie and basing it in, in, in reality and making it about domestic abuse and making it about actually this man isn't a monster, he's not this kind of myth mythical boogeyman, he's a real life person. And uh, I, I think that Lee does that brilliantly by, by weaving the story and centering the story about this woman and this her escape from domestic abuse and, and actually how we, as a society, we gaslight people that speak up. It's continually happening, even after everything that's happened over the past couple of years, you know, it's still women are sort of told that they're crazy and, and Lee deals with that in a very, very um, powerful way in the movie. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. She's incredible. She's pretty remarkable. I mean, she's also, so, I mean, you've met her. She's so funny. So, um, so yeah, it was, well, we just had the best. I honestly, I, I, I don't think I've done a job that's been more fun before. And I have to say, I know that you weren't in all the parts with her, but she was really put through the ringer on this. And Lee, the director, told me, well, that's where she finds her happy place. So, yeah. is that where you find your happy place? What, in doing in press? The ringer, in the ringer? <laughs> To me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is this is my happy place right here, right here. So Lee, I mean, you must be so excited to have your premiere here at the Wizard Chinese. Yeah, I mean, there's no better place in LA to have a premiere. You know, Star Wars premiered here, The Wizard of Oz. Like, it's there's so much history. Like in LA terms, this is this is sacred. So it's a more, it's awesome. And you must also be really excited because some of the reviews have looked at and they've just been really see see I mean you tell me we need to cut this interview so we can talk about this can we because I, I I haven't I haven't been reading them I'm mean, I've seen some Twitter stuff but I haven't read any reviews yet. What would you do if I just dropped out of frame? <laughs> You're like oh my God he fainted. Oh that's awesome. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, it just sort of came organically out of writing the script. It wasn't something I was intending to do. But the more I wrote about this female character and, and the situation she was in, the more it felt natural to explore this area of a bad relationship, a toxic relationship. And it must have been so fun to work with Elizabeth. You really put her through the ringer on this Yeah, one. but here's the thing. She loves that. This is the secret I'm giving you. Like, people say, oh, you really put her through the ringer. That is her happy place. Look at the work she chooses, The Handmaid's Tale. Like, she, she loves being put through the ringer. And so all I was doing was giving her exactly what she wants. So how do you think it turned out? Do you love it? I do. I'm really proud of it. I'm so close to it, it's hard to view it objectively, but I am proud of it. Um, there's nothing in the movie that I'm thinking, oh, if only I could have, or if only I'd done this or that. I, I'm really happy with it, yeah. So tell me, why did you think that Lee was the perfect partner to have on this? Well, we've been working together for 10 years. This is our seventh movie, and we never had a bad experience. So my money was on Lee Wan L. And it's really amazing how he, how he ties some really timely themes, like the women not being believed, like what she's going through into this film. Can you talk about that? How the themes are very timely? Yeah, it's, very, it's a very, very timely uh, movie. It's about uh, a woman who's in an abusive relationship and, uh, and how she handles it, and she handles it in a pretty spectacular way. And you must be so excited to have this film premiere at the Men's Chinese. Yes, it's amazing to have a premiere at the uh, Chinese. We've had a couple before, but not many, and it's very, there's nothing like it. It's the, definitely the best best place to premiere a movie. And the movie, I mean, the reviews that have been coming out are just stellar. You must be so excited to share this with all of your fans. I am very happy. Uh, people finally get to see the movie. We've been talking about it for a long time, and, uh, and so far the reaction is good, but I'm excited to see what happens tonight. So you must be so excited to have this film premiere at 
PTCL Chinese. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a buzz. Yeah, one of those pinch yourself moments. Right. Yeah, it's a good merging of the worlds when you talk about blending sort of like a slasher background into a drama. I think it's a perfect, perfect cocktail. Um, but then talking about gaslighting, yeah. Um, all, like, I think we're at a really exciting time in filmmaking where everyone's voice is coming back again. We sort of, you sort of go into those phases where it becomes about something else, but now it becomes about whatever's current. And it's exciting to be a part of a film, film that touches on that. And you must be also super excited because some of the critics views that have come out are just amazing. Oh, really? So I never read the reviews. <laughs> I've, I've always been, one of, whenever something comes out that I'm a part of, I'm always too nervous to look at it with good or bad, do you know what I mean? Like, I always just kind of do my part and then, thanks, yeah, it was great, see ya. <laughs> She was an absolute treat to work with, even from just going in on rehearsals. Like when we were sort of pitching things around, as soon as I sat down in front of her and she started drawing on her, her first pitch on what she was going to play, instantly she was it was like fireworks. Just yeah, I'd love to work with her again. It was a real, real pleasure. Right. 
Come on, one more time to the left. Right in the middle. 
Ladies and gentlemen, one more time to your rest, please. See left, please, see left, see left. Mr. Meyer, may we get a quick shot, please? Quick photo. Thank you, sir. Just give me a mic, please. Lovely. Thank you very much.
One more time. Thank you. Uh, I just one more. Straight ahead, sir. One more, Charlie, sir. One more, sir. 
And maybe it's probably you for singles. One more time, one more time.